The clock on the wall reads 7.05, but here at the HMT watch factory in Ranibha, India, time seems to stand still. The company has been producing its classic wind-up wristwatches the same way for decades. It all began a half century ago as a joint venture with Citizen, the Japanese watchmaker. Citizen wound up leaving India, but HMT carried on. Radha Joshi has worked here for nearly 30 years. She met her future husband on the factory floor. I was in the assembly. I was in the other department. I was in the transfer to HMT. I was in the first time. 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 So I have to go. I was in the first time. HMT watches with their sleek 60s designs were once the height of fashion. The factory turned out hundreds of them a day. They were go-to gifts for weddings, graduations, and retirements. But then quartz technology came along and India opened its market to more foreign brands. That was the beginning of the end for the HMT watch empire. These days production is down to just four or five timepieces a day. Mostly the workers sit idle and the future of the company looks dim. Nandan Singh started in the tool shop as a teenager in 1984. He says the workers here would do anything to save the plant from closing. We are here today, we are here HMT. We are here in our society, our identity is from HMT. And HMT is a brand name that the children of the country and the children of the country all know about HMT's name. Union President Mahendra Bisht says the factory can be repurposed to make ammunition and plane parts. It's packed with precision machinery and the people who can run it. The government, which owns the factory, says it's putting together a plan to shut the doors. For India's legendary HMT wristwatches, time may be running out.